Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we're heading out uh, on the boat for the first time in about a month. A very cold, frosty December morning. Um, got the boat loaded up. It's all prepped to go. Uh, the lads are just turning up in a minute. I think there's point, point 0.3 of a swell. Um, and there's literally no predicted wind all day. Um, I think it's like three mile an hour tops. So it's looking pretty flat. Uh, I went in the water the other day. It's probably about nine degrees at the moment. Um, so yeah. Excited to get in. Okay, so we've just dropped the uh, the lads off. Uh, they're just having a quick look to see what the vis is like down at the bottom. Uh, it's about, we're sitting at about 10 meters at the moment. Um, everyone's just come up now. Really good vis, isn't it? Is it? It's day not bad, mate. Is it really? We tried this mark for around 30 minutes hoping that it would hold some pollock but unfortunately we didn't see anything so we decided to head to another mark further out to sea. The next mark had a very strong current and we needed to make sure we were on top of our safety. We all did our breathe up holding onto the back of the boat, one person going down and two people keeping watch as best they can from the surface. This way if anything was to go wrong both people on the surface could go down and assist the person coming back up. Unfortunately, the second mark didn't produce any fish either, which wasn't really a problem as it's not all about shooting fish but enjoying a day out on the boat, especially during the winter months. I had never tried sea urchins so decided to take a couple home to try. They live on hard rocky seabeds and can be found in waters down to around 1000 meters deep. They eat seaweeds, algae, barnacles, so I did a little bit of research online and found that the word urchin is the old word for hedgehog and it's easy to see why the sea urchins were thought as some type of sea hedgehog as they are very spiky. On the way back to our third and final mark, we came across a pod of dolphins, always a very cool sight to see. Okay, so we've just um, we've pulled up our, our last spot for the day and um, we've just come to have a look for some lobsters you know, whilst the tide's low. We've managed to get ourselves one, but unfortunately, as explained in previous videos, if the lobster has eggs or is, is buried, as, as spearfishermen call it, it's illegal to take the lobster, um, you know, because you're basically destroying future generations of, of lobsters. So this lobster is going to go back. Uh, I've just taken it onto the boat to show you guys. You can see all the eggs on the bottom. I'm not just going to chuck it over the boat. I'm going to put it back for where I uh, where picked it up from. And um, yeah, we'll look around for some more and hopefully get, get one we can keep. 
Both GoPros had run out at this point and with the light slowly fading, we decided to head back into Plymouth to get the boat onto the trailer. Oh. Okay, and then you're left with the uh, these parts here in the middle, which are called the gonads, which I'm going to extract. Yeah. So using a spoon, you just literally split them into half, and then you can scoop them out. And then ideally, what you want to do is put these into uh, some cold water. Just done a little bit of research uh, on the internet and found out that they're best best to eat on their own. So that's what we're going to do. We're going to cut off a little bit to start with, eat on its own and then um, put the rest on a cracker to see on the toilet. <laughs> What's it like then? Um, <laughs> it's weird, it's <laughs> very weird. It's like earthy almost. As soon as you put it in your mouth, it melts. It's a little bit salty. Do you know, I can't, even, I can't even put like a description to it really. It's just very earthy, although that's quite a weird description for something that's in the sea. Yeah. Um, the last little bit, I'm gonna enjoy it on a cracker. <laughs> See what it tastes like, it might taste a little bit different. Nerves. I guess it adds a bit more texture to it, maybe. Mm. That's not that bad, actually. It's a lot better than on, uh, on its own. I think the garlic cracker helped a <laughs> lot. <laughs> Personally, not my favorite. Um, I'm glad I've tasted it, obviously because uh, I see them all the time, but yeah, not something I'll probably try again. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. And if you've got any questions, leave them in the comment section down below. If you're new to the channel or if you haven't done so already, please subscribe. I really do appreciate the support, so thank you. Here's a little preview to next week's video. We managed to catch ourselves a nice lobster and cook it up on the beach.